Hey everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a really big deal, okay? Yes. You guys signed up for a really awesome opportunity. It is our first ever written, designed, produced Bible study by Proverbs 31 Ministries. Yay. I know. This yes. is a huge yes. deal. It's such a big deal. And very exciting. I feel like we need little confetti poppers. Yes. Oh, shoot. Like, I know, yeah, right? Yeah, all around. Yes. Yeah. So picture confetti, picture streamers, because this is a really awesome opportunity. It's called The Answers to Your Deepest Longings, 40 Days Through the Bible. My name is Kendra Schwartz. I'm the manager of online Bible studies. This is my co-host. All study long, Hannah Schindler. She is the senior project coordinator of First Five. Yes. And then this woman right here is the president of Proverbs 31 Ministries, Lisa Turkhurst. And Lisa, we're so excited for the study, and I know you are too. Thank you. I really am. I, I think, first of all, when you hear 40 days through the Bible, it can give you this thought of like, whoa, yeah. too <laughs> much, too overwhelming. Yeah. I can barely read through the Bible in a year, or maybe I've never even tried that. Yeah. So trying to get through the entire Bible in 40 days, what? But Kendra, if you'll just hold up, yeah. this is not, it, it is bigger than in our typical experience guides, yes. but show people it's not like you're diving into an encyclopedia right. or a collection of encyclopedias, right? right? So it the, the way that we've done this is we want to give people an understanding of the major stories of the Bible, how they connect, mm -hmm. but the personal application is dealing with the longings that we all have in our heart. Those longings can either lead us closer and closer to walking in God's will, mm -hmm. or those longings can become desires mm -hmm. that the enemy can use to pull us away from God. And so I think the purpose of the study is twofold. You absolutely will have a much better understanding of the Bible after 40 days. Yeah. But personally, I think it'll really address some things in our heart. It's already challenging me mm. in, in a big way. Mm. And so I'm really excited about it. And Lisa, I wanna start back from the beginning of when this idea even came to you and the team that worked on it. So can you give um, our ladies a little background of how this was even born? Absolutely. So when, I guess it's five years ago, when we decided to jump into the 66 books of the Bible, mm -hmm. studying those yeah. five minutes a day using our first five app. Mm -hmm. I have such a passion to get people into God's word and then to let God's word get into them. Mm -hmm. So we did that and we accomplished it in really five so years. Again, <laughs> confetti, confetti, let's pretend streamers, like all the things. we have that, right? <laughs> yes. um, but then we decided, okay, now we've gotten all the way through the Bible, which seemed so far away when we first started the yeah. First Five app. So now what do we do? So we decided, let's take people through a recap of the Bible, whether you've been joining along with First Five or whether you've been attending the online Bible study or any way that you're connected with Proverbs 31, I feel like this is the study that you have been longing to do, even if you didn't know you were longing to do it, right? Yes. So it's a way for us to take people through the Bible in 40 days. And um, honestly, like I said, I've started doing it and I love it. It's doable, mm -hmm. it's achievable, it's not overwhelming, but it is incredibly insightful and applicable to us personally. So. That's why we decided to do it. But not only that, wait, wait, <laughs> wait there's, there's more, more. <laughs> right? <laughs> we wanted for the first time ever to combine our teams. Yeah. We wanted our First Five team. We wanted our online Bible study team. And honestly, even our social media team. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do a collaborative effort so that we can say we've led people through the Bible book by book over five years mm -hmm. and we have a program you can go through in 40 days that will give you a much better understanding of the Bible and how it relates to us. That's, awesome. That's so good. Yes, I'm so excited. And so, um, Lisa, you mentioned longings and desires, that that's going to be this theme. It's a part of the title as well. Why did we choose longings and desires as this theme for the 40 day study? That's a great question. So, you know, when you look at, let's take people through the Bible in 40 days, um, that sounds kind of intimidating. Mm -hmm. And unless you are someone particularly interested in just studying to gain more knowledge about the Bible, 
it can kind of feel like, okay, but what is it really going to do for me right. if I yeah. spend 40 days in this? So I want to read you a couple of passages from the end of the Bible. So if you have your Bible and you want to open it up, this is the end of the Bible. You can go to Revelation, make a few left-hand turns, Perfect. and you're going to get to 1 John. Now don't get confused. It's not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Good. the four Gospels. Right. It's after that. So this is in the book, 1 John chapter 2, starting in verse 15. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, and if you're paying attention to this, I want you to pay attention to these three things. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, so those are the three things, comes not from the Father, but from the world. Verse 17, the world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. So as I sat down to look at these three things, one of the things we do in our theological study is we say, okay, where is this first pictured in the Bible? Mm -hmm. It's also called the law of first mention. Mm -hmm. Where is this first mentioned in scripture? And interestingly enough, when we go back all the way to Genesis chapter three, and we look at what happened with Eve in Genesis three, these are the same three ways that the enemy engaged with Eve to try to tempt her to eat the fruit of the tree she was not supposed to eat from, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Then we go to the New Testament in the Bible. These are also the exact same three ways that Jesus was tempted when we look at the temptation of Jesus, and you can look at Luke chapter four, or uh, what's the Matthew other, 11. Matthew, or I think it's Matthew, Matthew four. four, yeah. Um, so we can see mm -hmm. in the Bible, this is a very important thing to pay attention yeah, to. It's been at the end of the Bible, we're told, watch out for these mm -hmm. things. If we see it in the story of Eve and we see it in the story of Jesus. So what this clues me into is that the enemy loves to take longings mm -hmm. that we all have. Mm -hmm. What are these three things? The lust of the flesh. It's the longing for being satisfied physically. Mm -hmm. And how can that be met inside the will of God? By doing what God instructs us to do to get our physical longings met. Mm -hmm. What does the enemy love to do? He loves to take us to a place where we're tempted to get those needs met outside of the will of God. And that can be the, the lust of the flesh. It can be trying to um, sex outside of marriage. Mm -hmm. It can be numbing ourselves with alcohol. Mm -hmm. It can be overeating or undereating. Right. It, it can be, there's so many things that it's trying to get that need for physical satisfaction met outside of the will of God. The lust of the eyes, that is trying to feel significant because of material possessions, mm -hmm. what we can acquire to feel more satisfied, right? And so certainly God promises to be our provider yeah. and, and he will provide his provision inside the will of God. Yeah. But we can also step outside of the will of God to get that. And then the third thing, the pride of life, that's boasting of what one has or does. It's a thing that makes you almost set up mm -hmm. to be um, prideful about how you are able to do things mm -hmm. and say things. And in today's world, you know, it's easy to see how we can build platforms on social media mm -hmm. or our job right. or the way that people give us accolades, whatever. We can see how if we're trying to get that need for feeling significant outside the will of God, then, you know, that can feed into this. So this is a much bigger deal, these longings, <laughs> right. yeah. than what we've ever thought about before. So what we did is we went through the Bible and we identified the longings that we all have. And this becomes kind of the cornerstone, but there's more longings that we identify. And I think it's going to be amazing for people. That's awesome. Do you want to say what the longings are? Yes. Yeah. No, thank you. You're so welcome. Let me go ahead and share all of these with you. So we are going to, in the next eight weeks, go through the longing for purpose, for freedom, the longing for security, for rescue, redemption, the longing for fulfillment, for identity, and last but not least, the longing for Christ's return. Wow, I'm really excited about that. But this week, this video is all about the foundation week, and you might have signed up and been like, 
what is Foundation Week? What does that mean? And so Lisa, I know it was very important to you and the team that created this study guide to really set the scene for what we're about to experience. So do you wanna speak a little bit into Foundations Week? Absolutely. So I wanted to make sure that all of those that Hannah just listed off are things we see woven throughout the narrative of scripture. So we're going to hit on those and it's going to be really fascinating to see how the story of the Bible relates to us so much personally. We're going to find so many connections. I find myself going, wow, I relate to that, right? Yes. But we also not only want to lay the foundation with an understanding this is where we're headed, mm -hmm. but we also write from the very beginning, we want to establish the fact that underneath even the longing for rescue and redemption and purpose, all of that, there is this cry of our heart that we want to feel satisfied. We want to feel significant. We, we want to feel special, right? And so the enemy wants to take those desires and longings and lead us away from God. God is seeing those longings as a way to lead us further and further into him, the source of ultimate satisfaction. And walking in his will is a way that we will get our longings, desires, needs met in a way that leads to something good. The enemy is always gonna want us to get those longings met in a way that pulls us away from good, pulls us away from God, pulls us away from what absolutely will settle our soul. And God wants to pull us into a deeper realization of that. So I think personally, this study and the Foundations Week is gonna really help us identify why we personally need this study. Yeah and I'm so excited about it. Well, perfect. Well, this is only the beginning, everyone. We're very excited that you decided to join us over the next few weeks. And so there are three things that we would love for you to have. Number one is the study guide. It's gonna be really important that you have this. You can get it at p31bookstore.com, but this has all the questions you're gonna to need to answer and just the different lessons. And the team worked really hard on it. The design team, the teaching team, the writing team, everyone. So it's really And awesome. I have to say one thing you will love about this yes. is as you open it up, it's not just thousands of words dumped right. on pages like a textbook. Very true. <laughs> there are gorgeous graphics, mm -hmm. there are timelines, there are yeah. maps, there's beautifully designed pages. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you are going to visually okay. love opening this book every day. Yes. So good. So definitely want to get that. The second thing is our study at a glance. And for our first five friends, that's also your reading plan. Mm -hmm. And so that will tell you what to read each day and what's coming up in the study. And then the third thing is to set some time aside every single day to do the study. We know life is going to get crazy. Um, and so just having some time on your calendar where you're going to dig into maybe a few questions a day or read your Bible, it's just going to benefit you. So we're very excited about that. We are. All right, everyone. Well, that was great in setting the foundation to Foundations Week. Something that you'll hear us say at the end of every video and something that we really believe here at Proverbs is that when you know the truth and live the truth, it changes everything. And that is the, tr the truth of God's word. And so we are very excited to dig into our Bibles with you and we're excited to see what the study has in store. Have a great week, everyone.